Welcome into the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. From Jacksboro to Kilgore, Eastland to Dalhart, Lampasas to Gilmer, Temple, Big Spring to Sweetwater, and many points in between. We celebrate the remarkable achievements of female high school athletes based on performances on and off the field and courts. From Class 6A to private schools, it's the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Joining me now from the booming metropolis of Kitty Quay, Texas, it's the Class 1A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. And a big shout out to the pride of Valley High, the one and only Trinity Sleater. Trinity, congratulations on winning this tremendous honor. What did you think when you heard that you were the best in Texas? Uh, I was really shocked and surprised that I got it. My coach told me, and I was like, oh. Well, all that hard work is paying off, isn't it? Yes, sir. What a season you and your fellow Patriots have had. Pretty impressive what you did. Uh, you dropped two games early on to two really state powerhouses in Shallowwater, who's Class 3A, who went on to win the state championship, and Amarillo Tascosa, which is a whopping Class 5A school, and you guys are a 1A school competing with them. And then you rattled off 37 straight wins. Talk about the journey and how you girls kind of came together and put together that incredible want run how were you able to sustain that for such a long time? Uh, we worked really hard, and we were all super close, so it was like fun to be together and practice, and our coaches really pushed us. When did you know that you had something special and you could make history and get to the state championship game for just the second time in your school's history? Uh, we've been really working on it since like my freshman year. We were like, we can go. like We have a chance going. And both my freshman year and sophomore year, we were really close. And so this year, we were like, we're, we're going this year. What do you think separated the Lady Patriots from everybody else? Uh, we all work together really well, and we're a really close team. I thought it was interesting that you ran into last month's Greater Texas Ford Dealers Class 1A Female Athlete of the Month, Maddie Dollar, in the state championship game there in San Antonio. It really felt like it was two heavyweights just going battle to battle. What did you think about going up against her and Newcastle for the title? Uh, she was a really good player, and her team was really good. When you were in that atmosphere, it, it really didn't seem like you were overwhelmed by it in, in the big stage. Do you enjoy playing in those big games in front of those bright lights and all the people watching? Yeah, it was really fun. And like being in that gym, you really couldn't hear the stands, and it was it was just like another game. Well, you are such a tower of power at 6-1. It's really fun to watch how you dominate in the post. You have so many incredible moves. You don't really seem like you have a weakness. You can go right. You can go left. You can even fade back. And it, with your tremendous height and ability and skills, do you feel like nobody can stop you? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. How do you use that to your advantage? Because you just seem like – just so tough there in the post for people to guard. Uh, I really work on still going up, even if they are like as tall as me or whatever. And we always practice against the boys, so you get used to having to go against taller people. And How so much do you get... work at your footwork? Uh, at least once a day during practice, we work on post moves. I know the other coaches that go up against you, they talk about – how you will never come out of the game. You're relentless, and you almost seem like you get stronger as the game goes. Is that a fair assessment of you, and how do you pull that off? Uh, we condition frequently. And... Your head coach, Amy Bowles, nominated you for this tremendous honor. What has she meant to you? She's meant a lot, and she's always been there to encourage me and push me and help me believe in myself. You have kind of a complicated relationship with her, don't you? Kind of a love-hate. Talk about that a little bit. I mean, sometimes they're, they're hard on us and we get upset, but they do it out of love and they know that we can be better, so they're always pushing us. So how does Coach Amy uh, push you and your fellow Lady Patriots to be the best that you can be? Uh, she has us work really hard in practice, and she always expects 
the best out of us until even if something was all right, she's still gonna make us go until it was like not perfect, but like yeah, yeah. Talk a bit about your town that you're from. I know when you're in all star games, uh you'll chat with other girls and they ask you about your hometown and you'll say population 300. I mean, you think about that. That's like the tuba section at Class A Allen High School. What is it about the small town that you like so much? Uh, everyone's like family and they're going to be there to support you no matter what. It says a lot about the area that when you returned from the state championship game and you guys lost, everybody was waiting for you and there was a big giant fireworks display. What was that like, and what is what did that make you feel? Because I know you were disappointed you lost, but at the same time, you, you had so much pride to represent that area. Yes, yeah, coming home, like even neighboring towns welcome to us back, and it just makes you feel happy to know that your towns are always going to be there for you. What I love about the small town, too, is I, I think about the send-off that you had to go to state in San Antonio. Uh, you know, a fellow neighboring town in Matador – had a bunch of guys on horseback and they were riding along with your bus going to San Antonio. How did that make you feel when you were going through that? That was really cool. We'd never like had that before and it was really cool. What did you think when you saw these guys on horses? <laughs> I mean, it's a typical thing around here to see people on horses, but we didn't expect to do that. Well, you started playing basketball at such a young age, and you have dominated since you picked up the basketball. What was it that you fell in love with the game? How, how did you fall in love with it? Uh, I was really competitive, even like when I was little with my older siblings, and that's what they like to do. And so, and it's a fast-paced game, and so I really liked it. You're such a tremendous athlete. I know you've done track and field as well. You ran cross country. How much has running helped your basketball? A lot. It helps you get in shape and helps you be tougher because it's hard. I know there was a moment there where you tore a labrum. You think you did it in cross country um, and you had to kind of sit out for a whole season. What was that process like and how did you persevere to come back even stronger? Uh, it was hard because I wasn't able to play like summer league basketball with my team and I couldn't run track, but I knew that I had to work hard during like PT and stuff to get better. And so it motivated me. And one of the, my other teammates was out for her knee having to rehab like her knee. And so we got to do it together. Yeah, and Not I think really. about it too. You qualified for the regionals in cross country and then you had that injury. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if you were able to go to state and, and, and challenge for a state championship in cross country? I do wonder about it. So our, you're that freshman year. We were really close. and We won district and we were going to regionals and then I didn't get to run. So I always wondered what it would be like to actually get to run at regionals. You're such a great example for all the other girls, the fight, the desire, and you're a leader both by example and by voice. How much do you enjoy that role, being kind of an elder statesman of the team this year and, and pushing the other girls to be the best they can be? I like pushing them to be the best they can be. And it's kind of scary being the leader. I mean, it's a lot of weight. And having to like everybody watching you to know what to do, but I like it. So many girls, you know, they talk about being a leader, but the question is, can they really do it? How are you able to pull that off and still be that good teammate at the same time? I feel like a lot of it's leading by example. And so working hard during practice and stuff and motivating them really helps. Well, I know you have a tradition of eating gummy bears at halftime. <laughs> have you ever had any gummy bear disasters where it's halftime and you can't find your gummy bears? And uh, does it throw you off? Not really. I mean, <laughs> how did that whole uh, tradition start for you? Uh, I'd get like we're really shaky during halftime, and so I would just eat them so I wouldn't be shaky. And then I, I just get. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing that you had that. I'm sure the competition wishes they could take those gummy bears away from you, so you didn't have that energy to finish off the second half very strong. But I guess it's a better tradition than what a teammate does, right? Where she wears the same socks doesn't clean them for the whole season. I mean, you got to stay away from that girl. It might smell a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, your mom and dad, they were great athletes. Uh, they made it met at Texas A&M together. Uh, and I know that in your family, 
um, livestock shows have been very, very big. And you've been involved in showing heifers. Talk a little bit about that. I know you won a county show uh, and looking to be a grand champion one day. What do you like about showing heifers? Uh, it's a different pace than playing sports. And so it's more of like you get to work with them all year to know, like, and put work into them until you know when it goes to show ring that you put in the work. Do like you ever name them. the heifers? Give them names? Yes, I usually, most years we give them names. <laughs> Who's the favorite heifer you've ever had? Um, probably my heifer last year. And what was the name? Um, uh, her name was Truly. She was truly good for you. What's the hardest thing about um showing heifers? Um, probably it's that they're so much bigger than you that they they don't want to do it. They don't have to because. Well, I know your mom, she showed sheep back in the day. Your dad, of course, he showed heifers and hogs. You have several siblings, three siblings, so four kids in the family. The question is, who is the grandest of all the grand champions and has the most ribbons in the family? Uh, in showing, it's my older sister. She liked showing a lot more than the rest of us, and she went all over showing. And Do you try liked- to be like her? Uh, kind of. I don't like showing as much as she did, and so I've always picked sports over showing. But So what has your mom and dad meant to you? Because, you know, they're driving you all over the place for games, you know, and especially when you come from such a small town, a Class 1A town, basically a six-man football town uh, there at Valley High School. Every game is pretty much a road game. What have your parents meant to you driving you to all these games? They've meant a lot, and, like, wouldn't be where I am without them taking me all the practices and stuff. So if I had to drive far length to get us there. Academically, you're the top of your class. I know you work at that. Why is that so important to you? Um, it's always been important to my parents, and they've always taught us to work hard in everything we do. And so, so it's been one of them. You're such a self-motivated person, and I know you work so tremendously hard on the basketball court to get better. Where does that drive come from, you think? Uh, I've always wanted to be better. And so, and I've always seen my like older siblings, they were always working hard at what they wanted. And so it taught me that if I wanted to be good, I had to work for it. It's so hard to get noticed from a class 1A school, but you have done that. People know about you. They know your name. They saw you on the big stage. How have you been able to do that and, and kind of separate from everybody else? Uh, worked hard and let my work speak for itself. So what are your aspirations in college? Would you like to play basketball in college as well? I would like to play in college. When you look at your game, where do you think you need to improve on to to be able to dominate on the next level like you do now? I don't have to get better at dribbling, like playing the outside more because I've always played post. But Well, Trinity, so great to celebrate your accolades and congratulations on being the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Thank you. Your Greater Texas Ford Dealers is so proud to recognize the hard work, dedication, perseverance, and passion of so many Texas high school female athletes who inspire us all. Here's this month's winners. And don't forget, you can see their interviews at Greater TX Ford for Greater Texas Ford Dealers. From Class 1A to 6A, plus private schools, we celebrate them all. Thanks so much for watching the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. See you next time.